Hey guys, this is Salim and in this video, let's see how the Acer Aspire E5 572G performs in gaming. So let's get started. I unboxed and reviewed this laptop earlier, so if you guys want to check out the unboxing and review of the laptop, I'll leave the links in the description below. So in this video, we'll play some casual but popular titles like CSGO, Far Cry 4, NFS Rivals, Battlefield 3, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So let's start with CSGO. So here is CSGO. Let's see the video settings. So I'm playing at at the resolution of 1920 by 1080 that's full HD resolution and uh, all settings are turned up to high so as you guys can see we are getting a FPS of 60 so that's good that to in full HD resolution in CSGO So let's play. By the way, a second gaming. I'm just gaming because you guys asked for a review. So don't judge me. It's fun to shoot up chickens. Oh, I died. I'm getting good at it. Continuing. So CSGO runs pretty well on this laptop. But a lot of laptop in a lot of laptops CSGO runs a lot good. So if you guys play CSGO a lot, this shouldn't disappoint you. So let's move to another game. Let's move to NFS Rivals. So I'm playing this game with my gamepad, Games a G3S gamepad. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the links to that, to the unboxing and review of the gamepad in the description below. So first let's check. So we are playing it at full HD resolution and uh, the effect quality is so you see I am getting a frame rate of about 30 frames a second so let's start So this should give you a pretty good idea about how NFS Rivals would run on this laptop. I'm getting a frame rate about of about 24, 25. Let's move to Battlefield 3. So this is Battlefield 3.
so let's check the video settings first i'm running it at full hd resolution mm, with texture quality as low res uh, as high or ultra or medium so let's get into game so this is battlefield 3 i'm getting a frame rate of about 50 and that to in full hd resolution with all the settings turned to high or ultra so i guess that's pretty good let's see how to clear this level Continuing. So my mission got completed. I was getting a frame rate of about 60 so and I was able to play this game with ease the laptop did not break a sweat so this guy this lap this game should give you a pretty good idea about the laptop how it performs now let's move move to Far Cry 4 so this is Far Cry 4 Let's check out the settings first. Video. So we are playing it at 1366 into 768, that's 720p resolution. Okay, now. So this is Far Cry 4. Playing it at 720p resolution. I'm getting a frame rate of about 35 frames a second. Let's play. This game has some bugs, so I'm using the game part just to ascend or descend the rope. So this was Far Cry 4. You guys got a, I guess got an idea of how this runs on this laptop. Now let's run one of the most popular games of our times. Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare. So as per the specs or requirements, this PC is not compatible with it. But we'll run it. Let's check these settings. So I'm running it at 1280 by 720. Let's check advanced video. So we are running it at low settings. Let's take it to native settings. The only thing that bugs me about this game is the intro. It plays all the time and we can't skip it. I wish we could skip it.
so I'm playing this at 1280 by 720 getting a playable frame rate of about 50 it drops at times but about 50 yes So this should give you a pretty good idea how Call of Duty Advanced Warfare runs on this laptop. By the way, this laptop is powered by a NVIDIA 940M graphic card with 2GB of inbuilt memory, dedicated inbuilt memory. I wasn't able to play a lot of games on this laptop, like GTA 5. A lot of you guys asked for me to me about GTA 5, but unfortunately I was able, wasn't able to install it. So I'll make an updated video of all the games that I wasn't able to play on this laptop like GTA 5, Doom, etc. If you guys like my video, do hit that like button, comment for any queries or just to tell how I suck at gaming or to request any new games for the updated video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Till then, this is Salim signing off.